Do you think you're addicted to social media? Yeah. I go on Facebook and Twitter without even realising I'm going on it. It's got to the point where I'm doing it subconsciously and I don't even realise. No. No? No. I'm vibrating. Hang on. Let me sign it and say. I'd like to say no, but probably, yeah. I notice like throughout the day, I'll, if I'm bored, like I'll pop on Facebook or I'll pop on Twitter. And I don't need to, but I do anyway. Do you think social media is a problem? Definitely. If it interfered in interactions or going out or doing things that are generally interesting, because you'd rather stay home and surf YouTube or, you know, anything like that, or play games online, then would, it would be a problem. But if you could just put it down and continue your life, it's not a problem, surely. Did you know 3.5 billion people use social media? That's 45% of the entire world all using social media for different reasons. Whether this be keeping up with friends and family, following the news, even using it for a business. These are some of the best parts about social media. In the UK, the average screen time is 3 hours and 23 minutes every single day. That's 50 days a year, all spent using social media. After our studio interviews, we decided to take Ash and Georgia and make them our main two participants in a social media detox to see the effects this would have on their social media habits. I say I spend about five hours a day on social media, something like that. At work, if I'm bored, just get a Facebook out. Before bed, when I wake up in the morning, kind of check texts, check notifications. Because I don't like notifications, so I go on and I get rid. The impact it has on my mental health, more to do with the expectations of how you should look and things that are meant to be funny but can actually be quite hard hitting, like the memes about depression and, and suicide are actually quite, wow, that's a bit. And they're just floating about on Twitter. I'll probably be a bit more productive at work rather than sat there and scrolling through my phone. I think like when I'm at home, like last night, if I went to bed at 11, and I don't have access to like Facebook and Twitter and that, probably just go to sleep and like actually get a good night's sleep rather than sit there for two hours scrolling and doing stuff like that. Feeling like I'm not missing out on anything and um, accessing news in different ways, because mostly I get my news from Facebook and Twitter. So if I can just go on like a news website and read it and not, on, and not rely on the social media side of it, that would be great. <laughs> so it's been 24 whole hours with no social media. It's my first day, so um, I found myself kind of jumping on my phone quite a lot, realising there was no social media there and then just jumping straight off it. But, you know, it hasn't really affected me. I haven't felt different. I haven't felt like I needed it. It's just a habit rather than necessity. OK, so I logged out of all my apps on Tuesday evening. I logged back into most of my social media accounts about half hour after I left because I was travelling home on the train. Um, that was purely due to boredom. My mental health has got better, definitely. And I think that um, I'm a lot more social at the same time. I'm actually going out and spending time with my family and stuff like that and talking to people, believe it or not. Although I thought oh, I'd be quite easy, I also find it more difficult not to just look at it. This time was a lot harder because it was because I had to, not because I wanted to. But at the same time, I still had a positive effect. It didn't, it didn't harm me in any way. Um, I like to think now that I'm doing it, I might just carry on. I think I like to think I might jump back on it eventually, but even if I did, probably nowhere near as much, just because I don't, I don't need it. And I've noticed now from these like couple of days, I just don't need it. I might be doing once a month to a week, five days to a week of not being on social media. Every month for the foreseeable future. Yeah, because I did it last month and it really helped me. So that's Tuesday done. We have one more day left. Um, I'm assuming I'm seeing the boys tomorrow to see how it kind of all, all is wrapping up. I've been really good today. I've hardly, hardly even looked at my phone. It's my last day of my detox. I can log back into my social media. I've really enjoyed doing the detox this week, actually. It's really given me some more perspective and it's definitely something to do at least once a month. Have a week off and just reset yourself. I think it's really important.
So it can definitely help people in lots of different ways. I'm kind of excited to see what tomorrow brings because I'm not sure how I'm going to feel when they say you can just re-download your apps and we're going to see if I feel like I will or not. So yeah, adios, have a great evening and I'll see you tomorrow. After Ash and Georgia had finished their detox, we hosted a discussion to talk to them about their experiences. What were some of the benefits you found from your social media detox? Just generally being more focused in like classes, with my family, listening to people. I kind of made more of an effort to actually text people and be like, oh, how are you? Let's meet up, let's do something because I can't get on social media, so let's pretend in real life. <laughs> I found I was going for coffees more with people and going shopping and, and like speaking to them. And... So has your opinion on social media changed at all? I think from my point of view it's just to show like so people can understand that it's not necessary because I don't think people realise how addicted they actually are yeah. and it's made me realise how much I did use it before I stopped using it. After going on it I think you've lived without it before so why can't you do it again? Why can't you go back to that state of mind when you were like nine or ten and you'd go and like knock for someone to go out to play. Yeah, if I had to put it in a sentence, realise if you are addicted and then just do something about it. Now social media isn't all bad. We have access to worldwide communication from any time and anywhere. We have media and entertainment that's unique to us so that we can see the things that we want to see. We have the ability to grow a business and share the things that we want to share. But that doesn't mean social media is just positives. We spend countless hours needlessly scrolling, liking and tapping. Some would say this needs to stop, but we think we just need a change. Try quitting social media for a day, two days, a week maybe. See the benefits for yourself because they are there. Let's be more present, more social, more human.